Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really, really well. So, as you can probably tell by the title, today's video is going to be a B&M haul. The first B&M haul that I've done in the longest time. Can't believe I was even in there. It felt like a dream. I don't think I've been to like an actual shop in like three, four months or something. I don't even know. But I needed some cleaning things, and we were going past B&M, so we went in and ended up getting quite a few bits. Not as many as I used to get. I feel like I've kind of went past that stage of buying everything in sight when I go into B&M and Home Bargains. I think I might actually be past that stage, but because I wasn't buying the things that I normally would have bought that I don't need, I have taken a few photos of good things that are in there just as recommendations so that if you are in the market for them, you can go and check them out because they have some really, really nice homeware bits. I did get a few things though, so I'll show you them just now. So they have a massive garden section just now and everything that you need for spring and summer and if we are going to be in the lockdown which we basically are for the full of spring again then everyone's going to be working in their gardens and everyone's going to want to have the newest fashion accessory for the garden they had these amazing egg chairs so i think these came out and i think it was aldi last year that had ones and everyone was buying them but they had these ones here and they were 175 pounds for the small one and then the double one was 275 which i thought was pretty good so i think i'd be able to convince andy that that's a necessity another garden bit that i really liked was the tree houses they had these little not tree houses, bird houses. They have these little painted bird houses. They're so bright and colourful and I actually might go back to get them. At the time I was kind of unsure because I've already got two kind of pale blue ones in my garden. But we have a little section which I might make into like a wee kids area. I basically just found a reason to buy them now. But yeah, how lovely are they? They also have the little kits for paint your own house. Paint your own bird house, not your actual house. And from the garden section I picked up this little lady. So it's a citronella candle which never smelled, like I don't think this smells amazing, but the reason you get these is because they repel midges and flies and things. So when you're sitting out in the garden, if you're having a barbecue or whatever, you should light this and it will keep the flies away from your table. I'm sure this was six pounds. I just think it's really cute. I've got quite a few wee terracotta bits out in the garden as well, so it'll tie in nicely with that. From the homeware kitchen section, I got this huge big mason, it's not a mason jar, it's a kilner jar. Or is Kilner the brand? I think Kilner's the brand. Anyway, I got this because I need to keep my little washing tablets, you know the ones for the washing machine? I need to have them somewhere secure to keep away from the kids. I hate the little plastic boxes um, because I really struggle to get them open. So I wanted to get something like this to put them in safely and keep them in the cupboard. So I got this one, so it's the organised, the organised kitchen is the brand that makes these and they have them in like the tall size medium and small which I think I have all of them. Another thing that I actually fell in love with and again I might go back. This video is like just a big video of regret actually. <laughs> they have a really nice section of wooden homeware bits so they have this lovely um, chopping board with the black on the top it just looks really stylish and they also had the cutest Lazy Susan. I'll put the little boomerang here so you can see it. It's so cute and it says love food cook serve share. I just thought that would be so nice as a present as well. Um, if you're going to give somebody like a nice chopping board and you could put cheese on it and biscuits and wrap it all up or I don't know cake or something like that and give them it on a nice chopping board. I think that would be lovely. They also had some lovely mugs. I'll just put one here just to show you. If you guys follow me a lot you'll know that I do not need any more mugs. Going through a little bit of a face of loving candles again. Um, I was off them for like a good year and a half I was trying not to have candles and I think just being at home has just a, like that's just a little bit of joy for me putting a candle on so I got this huge big bag of tea lights I love wax melts and I've got quite a few wax melt burners from B&M so I don't ever want to run out of tea lights this is like my backup packet because I prefer these ones so these are the big ones they only had one packet of these left 150 and they are the large tea lights and if you're using these they just burn a lot quicker they melt the wax a lot quicker it's just i just prefer these a lot a lot of the wax melts that i have are bigger as well so they just seem to fit better so yeah they're one pound fifty the thing that i actually went into being named for was this i just went in for some fabric softener this is the water lily in lime and it's comfort and it smells just like an absolute dream. So, so fresh. I actually don't think there's any comfort fabric softeners that I don't absolutely love. I also picked up my favourite 
Febreze air freshener Andy every time I spray this Andy's like oh my god it smells amazing in here this is the one in sparkling bloom scent and it smells really sweet but not in a sickly way it's just very fruity and fresh and yeah it says it's sparkling bloom makes you think it's going to be really floral and like rosy but it's not it's just like a lovely fresh Febreze smell highly recommend this this was the last one so I feel like this one's gaining popularity next up I saw this unstoppables right I love Febreze and this is the unstoppables fabric refresher so let's give this a live demo right throw off my bed come on oh my god oh that is so nice right guys go and get this that is lovely. It's very, very, like, just clean. It smells like fabric softener. Highly recommend. Really, really good. Oh my God, my hair looks so bad. I need a haircut. Okay, what else did I get? <laughs> For the kids, I just picked up some wee toothbrushes. But another thing that I picked up was Herbal Essences Shampoo and coconut extract. This one is for Andy, but I use it sometimes. If I've run out of my shampoo, I will go for this one. I also wanted to get more of these. This is another B&M thing that I always pick up when I'm in there, and it is the Maggie So Juicy Chicken Bags. That sounds so disgusting. I am so funny with chicken, like so funny. I hate touching it, I hate cutting it up. So I almost always use these bags when I'm cooking chicken. Um, just because it comes out really nice and soft, loads and loads of flavour and you don't have to touch the chicken. So all you do is you literally, it's a wee plastic bag, you buy diced chicken breast from Tesco, put it right in, in the bin, don't have to touch anything and you pour all those spices in, you put a little tie over the top, put it in the oven, it's usually about 50 minutes and it comes out like the most lovely, soft, really really good chicken so i got simple and satisfying rustic which is paprika garlic and parsley um, and i got the tasty garlic which is garlic onion and parsley so yeah they're really good and the boys love this as well they can be quite funny with chicken but when it's done in that way they are quite happy i picked up some wipes these are just the pampers ones these are the cheapest ones in there and they're actually really really good i find them really good for marcus uh, I also got Marcus some crayons because he keeps stealing his brother's pens and drawing all over his face and all over the table and making a huge mess. So yeah, got some crayons. Then I went up to the homeware section, like the separate homeware section, because I wanted to see if they had these bedside tables, which I had saw on TikTok. And I should have known because TikTok does this, it just sells everything out. But these are the lovely bedside tables that I really wanted to get. These Malm ones that I have are very plain. I don't like the fact they match the bed. I would like to get something a little bit different, but they were sold out. So these little bedside tables are £30 each. And yeah, I thought I would show you them anyway so you can go and check on the website and see if they're in stock where you are, if you like them. I also really liked these velvet chairs. And if I didn't have two kids under five, I would probably be getting these, but my kids are way too messy. They have them in grey and pink. I think they would just suit loads and loads of different styles and they look quite expensive. They were £40 each. I also absolutely love this ladder shelf. This kind of style is so in just now, especially the black with like the paler wood and the kind of rattan style. So these were £50 and I just think they would be so nice if you had space somewhere to put these then go for it i just don't have anywhere to put them and that makes me a little bit sad last but not least the things i actually did buy was this yankee candle which i've been burning this morning this is clean cotton classic scent it was 15 pounds i have not bought a yankee candle in so long but like i said i'm so into candles just now and it just gives me a wee bit of comfort when i'm at home especially if i've just done a big clean i light the candle and the house will just smell so good and it's going to smell even better when I spray this and I spray this. It's just it's the little things just now that are keeping me happy. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I know it's been a lot smaller, smaller than my usual B&M hauls but I thought since I haven't been there in months it definitely deserved a little haul even, it is, even if it is a little haul. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what videos you would like to see in the future and I will see you next week.